Hello people. Let's go into the today something really nice and easy that I actually enjoy. It's called the dark chocolate egg cream and as many egg creams it don't contain any egg at all and it's really easy and really nice to make especially if you have a soda siphon which I'm already one step ahead of that. So for the dark chocolate egg cream one of the things that you have to use before I said the ingredients is unsweetened sweet unsweetened cocoa powder in my case I enjoy using this one it's called Milo from Nestle it's actually popular in Australia and, it's ha and it has a lot of sugar so let's start from the very beginning so the first thing that we're going to use is the Dixie is sugar. I like to use brown sugar, especially the Dixie Crystal brand. As I said before, Milo is my other, my main choice of cocoa powder with this recipe. Then the other thing that we're going to use is organic milk or milk. It doesn't matter really. I like to use the brand of Stonyfield, which I think it's quite nice. It has a really nice flavor and. Last but not least, we're going to use vanilla extract in the recipe. Let me place another saucepan. A medium, a medium sized one. Okay. So, in the very beginning, the thing that we're going to do, we're going to open these ones because I forgot actually to open it earlier uh, come here to open, it should be more easy to open okay as I said before we're going to use sugar granulated sugar one of the best one on the dark sugar it's actually quite nice so for the first part of the recipe we're going to measure about three and a half, three four cups over here only one time. I'm actually going to use the other one. My little plastic cup is really easy to measure than the regular one. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that reminds me I need to buy a filter or something. Let me throw this away for one moment. Place it inside, but you know what? I'm not going to use it. I'm just trying to be careful next time. I measure carefully. Three fourths is the thing that we're going to use. Okay. Okay. Almost done with the three fourths. it's going to be too much. Okay. There we go. When I, because it's for me? There we go. I never put my hands when I prepare food for somebody else, but because it's for me, I don't mind doing it to measure perfectly. So, okay. Three fourths of sugar in a cup. Let me play this over here. We're going to place them on the saucepan, a medium sized one. The other part we're going to do, that we're going to mix with the sugar, is the cocoa powder, which adds the sugar, or actually opposite to the sugar, it has to be refrigerated. 
if this is one of, if it's one of these bags that doesn't have a seed block or anything for the chocolate powder we are going to use half of a cup one cup there we go making such a mess today I'm actually going to use this one to avoid any further inconvenience I'm always such a messy person when I'm doing something like this There we go. If you see that the cocoa powder is stuck in the tube, just move it a little bit without making a further mess. Until it goes down. That's if you're like me, that you're a messy, a messy cook. Actually, actually, one. I apologize for that. And to just keep talking and going outside, it's one half of a cup also to make the match, to make the mix even. filter here at home. So let's place it inside and we're going to make a like a taffy solution over here, like a taffy. We're just going to boil them. So let's place this back on the freezer. I don't like to keep this out there too much, especially because it doesn't have a seat block. Actually, placing this in a moment. I need to clean what I did first. Okay. Wash my hands. And while the caramel is boiling a little bit on a medium size fire, the next step that we're going to do, we're going to mix one. Uh, I don't know what I never friendly with these bags. We're going to mix one cup of milk and we're going also to use. Uh, one tablespoon of vanilla also the recipe sometimes there's a variation of the recipe that says that you can use uh, one tape one teaspoon of vanilla but I'm just going to use a little bit more to make it a little bit flavor flavorish uh, I don't like this too much just play this over here forgot to stir so the solution won't crystallize while you're doing it especially if you're using a hard chocolate solution like Milo you only need to stir for a couple of moments it doesn't need to be for 10 minutes in the stove it's only you see the solution being can be like 
like taffy, that's the way that I like to describe it. So in the next step, like I said before, we're going to use one cup of milk. And there we go. Actually, I don't know what happened. I'm actually going to use the other one. I just realized that my old table, that my old measuring cup is, is broken and it's leaking. Okay, one cup again. You see how the bubbles go right here? That's the key, the indicator that we're doing a really good job and that the solution is boiling to the point that it's becoming a taffy. And to avoid any roach or anything, just stir a little bit and the bubble that will just fade away. But you see that the solution is getting ready because it's just pushing itself up to the top right now. Okay, let me apply this back over here. And I'm actually not going. Oh, I place it the fire up really high. There we go. It has to be medium size. See how mushy and really delicious it is. This is going to be the base of the soda that we're going to make or the fizzy drink that like some many like some people say. Oh I like this way too much. Okay. Let's continue with the milk step. Okay. Let's use one teaspoon actually I'm not going to use one and a half tablespoon because I just realized that Milo is a little bit strong and I don't want this to be extremely sweet also. So one thing that I like to do with the milk is to place it on a low size fire. There we go. And also stir every now and then. So let's put this over here. back inside okay we don't need this anymore and let me use over here to mix it up it's going to be for a short moment so our next step is the one that I usually hate the most because it there's something with this when you're making soda, when you're in the part that you're boiling the ingredients, they tend to be to explode technically in a chemical reaction to produce bubbles. And I tend to scream sometimes, I don't like too much doing this part. Okay, there we go. Carefully mix this over here. that I'm actually doing this on a fire that is really low is because I don't want the bubbles to splash in my face again. So we stir again. Let me put this a little bit higher. There we go. And you see a new mix that we have is not, so, it's not as dark as the Milo it's a little bit clearly it actually tastes nice if you leave it like this, the syrup if you taste it like the way it is right now I'll bet you're going to burn yourself so we're going to continue for a little bit stirring this up until the bubbles come by again Now 
now that we are in this step and it's actually one of the last ones let me show you something this what you see over here with the soda stream siphon is probably for me the quintessential soda maker it's so perfect at the moment of making soda because you don't make too much of a mess except that it's a little bit difficult to unscrew the bottle and it's a little bit a little bit annoying and you can feel something when you're screwing it up sometimes the CO2 will splash but just wash your hands and everything will be okay and as you many can imagine one part essential part of the process of making sodas, homemade sodas is that you will need also a bottle of just really cold water in my case I already did that a step before just don't forget to do that before to play for a few moments or few on an, an hour a bottle of water in the cooler and then take it out and you will use it because you will need to place it inside over here inside the bottle as I already let me see if I can pull this off I already put the carbonate bottle on the inside which if you press this level it will throw the carbon solution inside the bottle and that will be the point that you will have the flavor of the soda that you're trying to make let me put this back again okay there we go one thing that you need to know about this it's not cheap I haven't been able to find out so I found that it's actually cheap but it's an investment that I don't regret doing it okay let's pull the water out You were going to see what I say, that happens to me all the time. So, but maybe this time I did it perfect. So let's put the bottle in the inside. Pure life from Nestle, I have bought this thing. Remember it has to be cold and if you want to keep it for later, just place it inside the freezer. I apologize, inside the fridge and that's it like any other sodas and if you want to make different flavors just the thing that I recommend just go to the supermarket and actually retail stores and get one of these bottles or also you can go to sodastream.com and over there you can get a few extra wonder about 12 to 15 dollars if my memory doesn't fail me Let's place this back again. Okay. This is the way that you should do it, but since we're going to use it to play place inside the chocolate the syrup that we're boiling over here, let's keep this up for a moment. You see, I hope you can see this, the bubbles that are boiling over here. At uh, that moment just stir up, don't forget to do it. It will be for a few other minutes. And until we'll have something like halfy, like I said before. It can take a few, but if you are in a hurry or you don't want to wait that much, one of the things that I said you can leave it on a point that you will see that it's gooey and just keep it cooled down for a long moment and that's it so let me shut off the camera for a moment we will be back until I finish boiling this okay I actually think that it's really that it's ready right now so let me turn off the camera so this thing would settle, simmer down, simmer down a little bit and I will be back okay we're back let me see something okay there we go 
So the next step is to a filter and all the impurities will stay behind and the taffy that we make, the syrup that we make will go inside the bottle and the carbonation process will be taken on the siphon in a moment. So be careful what you're handling with salsipan. Remember it's hot and you can burn yourself in a really, really painful way. Okay. Let me see. Okay. If you miss, don't worry. 